Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews, we're going to take a look at a little utility called Photo Transfer App. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm at the Photo Transfer App website, which is www.phototransferapp.com. I'll place the link down below in the video description. With this app, you can move your photos and your videos from your mobile devices to your computers and from your computers back to your mobile devices easily. Similar to that of Wi-Fi Photo, which I covered in a recent video, I'll place the link here. With Wi-Fi Photo, you were only able to move files from your devices to your computer, and it was Mac OS and iOS only. What I like about this app is, it allows you to wirelessly transfer your photos and videos between not only iPhone and iPad, but Android, Windows PC, and Mac as well. To download Photo Transfer app on your mobile devices, you can either go to this website right from your device and use these links here, pick the appropriate link for your device. Or you can just go to your local app store on your device itself and search for Photo Transfer app. To download the desktop version of the app, simply hover over the desktop link and you'll see the Mac and Windows installers here. Now, the desktop version of the app is a light version which limits the user to downloading their files in a medium resolution only. You need to upgrade to the full version to get a full resolution download. The full version costs $6.99. Now, it's time to take a look at how the process actually works. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I have the desktop app running on my computer. I have the iOS app running on my iPad. Both need to be running in order for the devices to talk to each other. That being said, you also have to make sure both the devices, the computer and the iPad or the mobile device, are connected to the same Wi-Fi network in your location. So if there's more than one Wi-Fi network, or SSID as some of you may call it, make sure both the computer and the mobile device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. That being said, I have to say, after playing with the app for a while, um, I'm not totally convinced. I mean, it does work, yes, but I'm just finding it to be a little clunky. Um, you'll see what I mean as, as we go through the demo. So, okay, let's just say I wanted to um, download files from my iPad to my computer. First, I have to come over to the desktop app and click Find Devices. And it found my iPad. And the first time it tries to connect with the device, you'll see it says it needs authorization. You'll see on both screens. So, first thing I have to do is come over here and I can choose on my iPad, yes, always, yes, this time only, or no. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to say yes always. And then I have to come back over to the desktop app and click retry. And you can see now I have a successful connection between the computer and the device. So let's just say I wanted to download the entire folder. Here's the camera roll from my iPad. If I click on the entire folder and I come to the bottom and I click on the download link, you can see there are two options. Obviously, upgrade to unlock all features, and that's upgrading to that $6.99 version of the app. Or I can choose to download the entire folder. If I don't want to download the entire folder, I can double click into the folder. And you can see I had to click off the folder and then double click back on. Um, and there are my individual images. So if I wanted to say download, this file right here, select it, click on download, and now I have the option to download it and delete it from the device or download it to the computer um, only without deleting it in full resolution or medium resolution. I'm going to download the medium resolution only so that you could actually see it will work. It's prompting me where I want to save it to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Um, and also here I'm looking, I would want to look for the word download. I guess that's just my preference since I'm in the download process and it says here transfer. So let's go ahead and transfer and you can see I got a confirmation on my desktop as well as on my iPad. And I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. So you can see there's the image that I downloaded from the device to my computer. Now. I can also go the other way. Let's click out of here. If I wanted to, say, take a file that lives on my computer and send it to my iPad, I can do that as well just by coming down here and clicking on the Add Files. And now you get an error message if you don't go inside the folder at first. Again, 
just a, a little clunky to me. I think it would allow me to add files and ask me where I want to place the files. I, I'm Again, I guess it's just personal preference. I don't feel I have to go into the actual folder first um, to select where I want that file to be saved. But that's just me. Um, okay, so inside this same folder, now I'm going to say add files. And here I have a screenshot sitting on my desktop just from my uh, Quick Tech Tips and Reviews show. And let's upload that. And basically now you can see it's saving the file to the device. I have a confirmation on the device itself that says success. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And now if I quit out of the application on the device, it's going to lose the connection on the computer. But I just want to show you that the photo is there on the iPad. Okay, and if I go into my photos, there's the additional item, Quick Tech Tips and Reviews, that was taken from the computer. So that's about all for the actual demonstration process. Let's take a look at some of the other features on the app's desktop. Starting with the upper left-hand corner, you have the gear icon, which allows you to change your settings or preferences. You have a little envelope which allows you to subscribe to their newsletter. Down at the lower left hand corner you have your help icon and it has a couple of different tutorials on how to complete different tasks in the app. In the lower right hand corner there's an about icon and that gives you information uh, to contact the author, to rate the app, uh, tell a friend, share it, etc. Moving up to the upper right hand side, they have a feedback icon so you can uh, send feedback, report a bug, and then the little um, lightning bolt gives you the addresses that you can uh, plug into a web browser. So basically guys, if you don't download the desktop version of the app, you could simply open up a browser on your computer and plug in either the IP address or it gives you a user friendly um, URL to plug in and you can do all the same things that um, I showed you with the desktop app as well. Now that being said uh, I, I don't want to sound critical because the app does work you know um, whether or not I'd pay the $6.99 for it I'm, I'm not sure yet and also um, I did say in the beginning of the video that the desktop app costs $6.99 but the um, mobile app is $6.99 as well but you don't have to put it on both sides. If you decide to buy it on the computer, you can use the light version on your mobile device or the other way around. If you decide to buy the app on your mobile device, then you could use the light version. As long as one side has the upgraded version, you'll be able to download in full resolution and get all the other features as well. So in future updates of Photo Transfer app, I would just like to see the navigation be a little bit more streamlined. Again, for example, on the app's desktop, you see the receive and send button. If I wanted to receive files from my computer, um, you would think, or at least I thought, that if I hit receive, I would see the computer's camera roll on the iOS desktop and I would just be able to select all or select individual uh, images that I would want to download to the device. But it doesn't work that way. Basically, by hitting receive, you're just initiating the connection between the mobile device and the computer, and then you're initiating everything from the desktop app like I showed you earlier, adding photos um, via the computer. So, again, um, not trying to be critical, just uh, telling you what I experienced when I was um, going through the learning, uh, learning curve of the app. So that about wraps it up for today. Photo transfer app. It does work. Am I totally convinced? Well, I think it has great potential and it could be streamlined in future releases. Let me know if you use the app and if you do, put your comments down below. If you thought the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.